We are rejecting the stigma-laden term mental health and replacing it with resiliency. Florida's First Lady and the Department of Education hoping to teach students how to deal with various life challenges. As I've said multiple times before, it's not a matter of if you are faced with a challenge or a setback in life, it is a matter of when. DeSantis says parents and coaches will be given special training to help children going through challenges with new resources and skills. DeSantis says this will ease the burden on school counselors, allowing them to focus on children who need more help. We're going to be dedicating more than $21 million to ensure that we support and provide curriculum uh, and a resiliency toolkit free of charge to teachers and parents across the state. But some educators are already opposed to the change. Andrew Spar is the president of the Florida Education Association and says this new approach simply won't work. I think having mentors in schools and in our communities is vitally important for kids. But that is not a substitute or solution to the fact that we don't have enough mental health professionals uh, in our schools and in our communities. Spar tells me this new approach is too harsh. He's been calling on the state to invest an additional $2 billion a year to not only give teachers raises, but to add some more mental health care workers to Florida's schools. Remember, what every educator wants, what every parent wants, is they want their kids to be loved, to be supported, and to be successful. And that's what we should be focusing in on. Uh, this idea that we should just tell kids to suck it up and deal with it is, is not a fair approach. It, it has never worked. It won't work. We need to support uh, our kids, lift them up, and help them grow into productive uh, citizens in our state and in our country. I asked the Florida Department of Education if this program replaces school counselors. I also asked how much these mentors and coaches will be paid, but I did not get a response. In Escambia County, Brent Carney, WEAR News.